Gorilla Tag is dying. This is a sentiment that many of the players of the game hold, but is it true? Competitive Gorilla Tag Skill Cap. Competitive Gorilla Tag is its own section of select players that put their blood, sweat, and tears into becoming uncatchable, constantly climbing, running, crawling, to push this game the furthest it can go. Now before I tell you what the problem is, let me ask you a question. If the goal of a competition is to be the best, would you slow down the top runners? The answer is no. This is exactly what's going on right now with the comp queue. Gorilla Tag's best and oldest players are being punished right now. If this was in a default lobby, I'd be perfectly fine with that. In fact, I'm one of the first firm believers in letting yourself get tagged, but in a queue where the whole goal is to push yourself and your skill to the maximum, I don't see how it's fair to limit people. And this is one of the only things that Lemming actually has control over. The Gorilla Tag Creator Greed Dilemma The Gorilla Tag Content Creator community has always been one of the best YouTube communities ever made, but within the last 8 months, a lot of creators have been so determined to get views and subscribers that they resort to lies, stealing, copying, and other tactics to get what they want. I think most people can agree that the reason this game is so big is because of its content creators. But what happens to a game when a large portion of its creators benefit off of unoriginality? Pause, we'll come back to this. Now it's important to talk about another game, Team Fortress 2. TF2 is a game about, mm, it doesn't really matter. But the point is, content creators of this game are unrivaled. How is this important to Gorilla Tag? It's direct proof that creators don't really need updates to make content, as the last major Team Fortress 2 update was back in 2017 with the Jungle Inferno update. While new updates are helpful for the general public, new ideas can be born from nothing and it doesn't really make sense to require updates to make content. This brings us on to the Gorilla Tag culture and its problems. The Gorilla Tag culture has seen a lot of tough times, especially recently with its modders and cheaters and it's only getting worse. With a screen in front of you, there's no real person sitting there, but there is an actual person on the other side, potentially, of the world. And that brings out the worst in people. It's a proven theory that little kids plus toxicity equals toxic little kids, and a lot more of the mature players feel that Lemming isn't doing anything about it. And this is fair, because essentially it would mean shooting himself in the foot. If you haven't noticed, that's most of the Gorilla Tag fanbase if you've ever played the game a single time. And a lot of older players think that he needs to add an underage button under the report button. And this leads us to the last and most important section, the Gorilla Tag Update Conundrum. Gorilla Tag gets updates almost monthly. They add lots of new little details into the game, but a huge complaint that people have is that these aren't enough. It's been half of a year since the last game changing update, and a lot of people think it's time once again for something big. But is it going to change anything? Let's go back in time about seven months. The Hunt game mode just released, and everyone's playing it, and it was great, and thank you Gorilla Tag Gods for adding something new and... A month later, no one plays it anymore. Everyone's gone back to infection, and it's completely forgotten. If you recall, Lemming's been wanting to add a new section to the game for quite a long time now. Gorilla Tag Dodgeball, an entirely new experience. An experience doomed to be impossible by latency and lag. And instead, we got the ice map. A map people once again played for two weeks and never touched again. What makes you think that something new would break the pattern? But no, because it's Lemming's fault that you don't enjoy the game anymore, right? Video Hiker Bo Alligator. Thanks for watching.